Hey, it's Joe Amoya, the Smarter Dating Guy, with another great Smarter Dating tip just for you. You're going to love this one. One of the things I hear all the time is, how can you quickly recognize if a guy is emotionally available and ready for a relationship? Well, I believe you can, but you really have to have your eyes and ears open. So I'm going to give you three things that you should be looking for. So the first sign is you want to look at how he respects women. Not only you, but all the women in his life. There's an expression, if you want to see what kind of husband a guy is going to be, you look at the relationship he has with his mother. Well, I want to take that one step further. You don't want to just look at his relationship with his mother, but you want to look at how he respects and how he treats all women in his life. You know, if you're out on a date, you know, your first date, and the guy is disrespectful towards the waitress, or he's disrespectful to other women, and he's calling you know, a bitch, or whatever these things may be, whatever phrases he may, may use, or he's very condescending, or he talks about a coworker. You really want to listen, because guess what? He's giving you a good glimpse into what he thinks about women. So it's really, really important that you see how he respects all women in his life. The second sign you want to look for is if he's over his past. Because let's face it, at this stage in the game, everybody's got a, got a past. But is he an open book? You know, is he able to talk about it? You know, one thing I hear all the, all the time is women who are dating men, he doesn't want to talk about his past. Well, that's a huge red flag because the reality is we all have a past. And you know what? The key is to learn from it. So if someone doesn't want to go there, doesn't want to talk about it, doesn't even acknowledge it, well, that's a huge red flag and it's something you want to pay attention to. You also want to make sure that a guy isn't living there. That's not all he talks about is how he's been screwed over, how his ex did this, how she took half his money, whatever it may be. Okay, So you don't want to go the other extreme either where a guy is constantly living there and focusing on his past. What it really comes down to is you want to make sure the guy has no baggage. Again, everyone's got a past. As long as he acknowledges, yeah, you know what? had a past. Things didn't go the way I thought they would have been, but you know what? I've learned from it. I acknowledge it and I'm ready to move on. That's a telltale sign that a guy is emotionally available and he's ready for a relationship. Now the third is whether he's in, he's ready for a relationship with you. And how you're going to know that is if he's consistent in his words and his actions. And the big word here is consistent. You know, if you write these three signs out, I want you to underline, highlight it, whatever you do, but focus on the word consistent. Because the reality is you're not going to be in a relationship with a guy who doesn't do good things some of the time. I, at least I would hope not. But the key is that he's consistently showing you by his words and his actions, more importantly his actions, that he's the kind of guy that you're looking for. And there's a way that you'll know that. How do you know that? It's by how you feel. If you feel happy and you feel at ease, then that's a telltale sign that the guy you're with is the right person for you. you know, if you're struggling and you're trying to make a square peg fit in a round hole, there's a reason for that. And it's usually a sign that he's either not emotionally available, he's not ready for a relationship, or he doesn't want a relationship with you. So I strongly suggest you go back and watch this at least two more times and you might want to write these things down and really really focus them focus on them as you go forward this will make your life so much easier as always if you have any questions comments or feedback please post them below and if there's anything specifically that you're struggling with that you would like answered feel free to send us a question and who knows you might wind up having your answer in a blog next week okay Hope all is well. We'll see you next time. God bless.